All right, Ron, so uh, we're out here in the Snail Trail 4x4 meetup, and we saw your awesome Unimog here, and kind of wanted to get some overview of what you got here. What year is this thing? Okay, Where'd you get it? It's a 1980 uh, Unimog model 416. Uh, I got it in uh, Belgium and had it imported and changed from a fire truck into just a flatbed and added the 1973 Alaskan camper to it. Oh, wow. So it's basically all stock. Now the tires, are those aftermarket? Are those bigger or is that the standard Stock size, size really? pretty much everything about it's gonna be stock. Yeah. That's awesome. And you just modified that uh, camper to fit in the back? Nope, no? fit right on there. Oh, just really? Like, yeah, the only thing I did was add a three quarter inch piece of plywood underneath so the bed sides would fit underneath the actual camper part. Oh, okay. Do you have any idea what the gear reduction total is on this thing? No, I know that's I don't. one of those wild I, ones usually. Well, this is only a six speed. If you get that 20 speed, it goes down into like something like 4,000 to one, you know, something crazy. Uh, this is just a six speed, so it doesn't have super low gears like that. Yeah, you know, special stuff you want to show us around maybe? Sure, you can look at it. The, the camper's made for a domestic pickup, so it's only four foot wide at the bottom. So down each bed side. Oh, okay. And, uh, storage down each side. That's perfect. That works out really, really well. Yeah, carry a lot of stuff. That's kind of like the ideal thing. I think that makes it almost better, huh? Right. So I usually have an ice chest on this side, firewood and stuff on the other side. And if you're a passenger, it sucks because for your feet. Yeah. <laughs> but the driver's side's not bad. Okay, and I see you got like comms up here. Is that for both people or just for one? Two, so it's got an intercom and then uh, that's attached to uh, um, the ham radio. So awesome. you can talk between pilot and co-pilot and on the radio and pump music through them too. So Very cool. Let's they are it. definitely loud inside the oh, cab. Oh yeah, I so. bet. This is, this is a diesel, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what uh, what size is it? So it's a 5.7 liter direct injection uh, Mercedes engine. So it's a, a whopping 125 horsepower uh -huh. and a 10,000 pound truck. Yeah. So horsepower equals speed. So on the freeway going up a hill, it slows way down. If I have to downshift out of six to fifth, I'm doing 35. Oh wow. Down. Okay. But it has tons of torque right off of idle. So. On the trail, it's nice, but That's the great. freeway, not so much. <laughs> Can we uh, take a peek at the driver's side over there and yeah. see what your footwell looks like? Super cool. Like the Tonka truck. Yeah. That, that little matchbox inside was yeah. fine when I was uh, 12 years old. Oh, yeah. I've had it since then. So. That's way cool. All right, guys. So over on the footwell side, it looks like you can't actually fit your feet in here. We were kind of talking before where on that side of the car, you don't yeah, have much leg small. room, but a little better on this side. It's actually not bad once you get in there. Yeah, yeah so. just a cozy, cozy little fit. Look at all that, super cool. And then how many transfer cases are on this? Is it just one or there are two? It has none. None? <laughs> really? It goes right, it's all built in because the trucks designed like this uh, transmission and transfer case are all in one you can add a, a crawlers ahead of the transmission there uh, okay that'd be the only option so the base transmissions six speed and then you go to 20 speed that all those extra gears are slower gears so you go into crawler and super crawler and stuff so gotcha. i think uh 20 speed in super crawler first gear floor it'll do 60 yards an hour 60 yards <laughs> wow that's crazy yeah yeah does it turn it, actually well? a friend of mine has a short wheelbase full-size chevy and i out turn him with it really okay yeah. if you look at the front tires are like a road grader so they're kind of tipped like you know in and so as you turn the tire oh. tips it quite a bit. okay yeah, so kind of some positive camber, I guess, on the front axle. Yeah. Interesting. And then it has portal axles. I don't know if you can see underneath this side. If you look at the axle, it has a torque tube 
Oh yeah. It goes right to the transmission that holds the axle fore and aft, and then uh, side to side it uses a panhard bar. So it's basically a Corvette. <laughs> Corvette without, type without the speed as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny because. Uh, I don't know if you've ever, have you ever looked at a Corvette suspension no. setup? Do you know that Corvettes are on leaf springs? No. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Yeah. yeah they they don't even have struts or, I mean, they have dampers, but they, uh, they actually use, um, a torque tube and they have, uh, leaf springs in the front, which is just so weird to me. Very cool. On the original truck, they would have been to strap the canvas top down. That's a camper. It's a basically just an Alaskan camper made yeah. in Washington, and you can configure in two twin beds, or you can fold those together for a king size bed. And then it raises up as a hydraulic jack and raises up about two feet when you're parked. Oh, from right here. Yeah, that part goes. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's full walking. Once yeah, it's you... six foot four inside when it's Perfect. raised up. Wow, that's. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, showing us around. Really appreciate it. Right. No problem. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right.